I'm here to talk about file management, downloading files from the internet, as well as working with them, putting them into folders. I'm on this website here. I'm going to click on this zip file to download, okay? Make sure you always go to a trusted site and that you have an antivirus on your computer. I have this zip folder here, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just save this to a folder that I have on a flash drive. It'll be a lot cleaner. It'll be a lot cleaner. And you can see all these folders that I have listed here, okay? And what I'm going to put this in is a folder called, if you click on new folder here, and just say data files. So I'm going to save this here. Now I'm going to go on to my flash drive, and I'm going to find my data files folder. It could go into my documents or whatever. I have this in here. I double click on it. A whole bunch of files are in here. If I were to go in here and open one up, it will be a read-only if you see that at the top there. You cannot edit in a zip or save in a zip folder. So I'm going to close out of this. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and copy all these files. To do that the easy way, I hold down the control key and the letter A together. Control A is all. I right-click. I left-click on copy. I click go into the data files folder there. I could have clicked on the back button here. I right click with the mouse. I left click on paste. They're all going to come through. Okay, we got them all there. Since I extracted them, I could delete this zip folder if I want to. And I want to talk about looking at folders and files and arranging them. We have these three-letter extensions here. That will be shown in class here. You have JPG. That means you have a photo here. I have little samples here. I go over here, and since I am using Windows 7, what I like about Windows 7, you can go and have a preview pane over here, so that way you don't have to open it to read it. But what I want to do at this point here, I want to um, go over two things. I want to talk about sorting them putting them into folders, and I also want to talk about uh, how to view things here. Right now, I'm looking at the detail list. You got that there. It says details here. I can make it tiles, content. You have different ways here. You could go in, and especially when you're working with photos, these icons are wonderful, okay? And if you ever have a photo that's going the wrong way, you can always right-click in there and rotate. I don't need to, that's done. What I need to do is I want to put files into folders. I want to stay organized. So if I have a bunch of Word files here, they have different things here uh, previewed in different ways. It depends how it says. You've got the green X for Excel on there. So what I want to do, I want to go into here, into the details, okay? You can sort by date, type, or whatever. And so I'm going to click on type. It's going to have JPEG here, and what I want to do is I want to move things in here. I click on New Folder. I give it a name. I could call it Images. And then I could say New Folder, and I could say Word. And I can go up here, click on New Folder. It has it in bright blue. I type in Excel. So what I can do, since I sorted it by type, I could click on this first file here called Word. Just click and drag it to here click and drag it to here. Gets a little boring, okay? So the easy way to do this, if I have a whole list here, and I'm seeing all these Word files here, I click on the first one. I have that bottom one there. To do that whole range together, I hold down the Shift key. And so it takes them all together. I click, and I move all 12 of them at once in there. Now let's say, and then it likes to resort things here. Let's say I want to take all these images. I click on the first one, and then I could go and drag, shift key here, drag this into here. Okay. Click here, click on the shift key, or press the shift key, and drag this into Excel. 
everything is organized. However, sometimes you may want to go in here and have things in separate folders here. Another way to create a new folder is to right click. And I could say new folder and I could say 2013 finance. And let's say I have another folder. I right click new folder 2012 finances. Now let's say I have to do a um, random list. I want the first, the third, and the fifth to go into 2013. To do that, I click on here. Now I go and put my finger on the control key. You gotta hold it down firmly. Sometimes it duplicates it. If you get an extra file, that's okay. And then I hold it on the control key there. I have three files selected. I drag that into the 2013. And then let's say I'm doing something here because I ran for dog catcher. Uh, electoral college. I could right click here. New folder. Um, dog catcher. And then I could go over here and just drag that into dog catcher. And then since I have these three files here that all are next to each other, I could use the shift key, drag them into 2012 finances. But wait a minute. I really wanted to put the stove sales in 2013. The easy way to do it is to right click on the file, left click on cut, hit the back button, or click up there, and then I right click again and I left click on paste. You could do the control X, the control C, and the control V. X is cut, C is copy, V is paste. Now let's say I need this stove sales also in another folder. I right click in here, I copy it, I go back into 2012, right click, paste. I've got a duplicate. Now let's say I want to make sure the folder files are appropriately named. I right click inside here. I could left click on rename and I can click right after the S here. Leave the extension if you have it displayed because if you don't you may not be able to open it. Sometimes you can. So I've got a 2012 file here. I could go back into here into 2013 and I can just click in here I can click in it gently again. It puts it at the end here. And I can just move the mouse, or I should say the pointer, and call that 2013. So I've got that. So this is the basics with downloading and moving files into folders. What I will say is if you're ever doing things here and you're moving things here and you're new at it, go and use the icons. Makes it so much easier to move one of them around rather than the other thing, but once you get the hold of the mouse and knowledge of it, it becomes very easy.